So, do you remember in ACLS and uh, and uh, and BLS uh, we say ABC, or do we say it different way? We don't say ABC. What do we say? C A B. Correct. So, what does ABC stands for? A for airway, B for breathing, and C for circulation. Right. So, why do we say C A B? Why is compression or circulation more important? Why is it more important in cardiac arrest? Okay, so the rationale behind it, the rationale behind it is that whatever oxygen there in the, in the blood, we need it to reach the brain and perfuse the vital organ like a brain as soon as possible. Um, and then leave the airway to be next and then the breathing to be after that. طيب. طيب. In, uh, in COVID-19, we're not going to say CAB. We're going to say ABC. Can anyone tell me why? Yeah, listen, goal, airway, breathing, circulation. So some of you are saying airway is compromised. That's not the answer. It's not because of respiratory distress. It's not because it's a respiratory disease. It's because of protecting, protecting us, correct. Whoever said to protect us or to prevent uh, a contagionosity of the patient to us, you are correct. What do we mean by that? What do we mean by that? You remember that we said, what are the aerosol generating procedures? And we said that CPR is one of these aerosol generating procedures. So that's why once we intubate, I want you to imagine if we intubate this patient and then we inflate the cuff, he is not going to have his uh, aerosol or his spit or his saliva uh, going to be airborne or less. less. So that's why we are saying um, do uh, intubation first. So that's why we say A first. What is the only thing that comes before ABC? Universal precautions, PPE. And what kind of Precautions are we going to do in, uh, in CPR? Airborne, airborne, not droplet, airborne, airborne, airborne. Ahsantum. How can we assess? How can we assess that the patient's airway is patent? Okay, if he's talking, then his airway is patent. What else? Gag reflex. Let's stop and talk about gag reflex for a minute. Gag reflex is wrong because gag reflex is absent in almost 20% of normal people. Um, chest movement, theoretically speaking, it might be right, but don't forget that even if my airway is obstructed, I might be generating negative pressure to breathe. So let's look at what are the things that can help us in ABC, in airway. If the patient is talking and then check for foreign bodies, strider or noisy breathing um, might indicate that this patient has partial obstruction, not complete obstruction, partial obstruction, and then the gag reflex. Breathing is very easy, equal chest movement, equal breath sounds, and then we check for added sounds. Circulation. The best three things that can help us in assessing patient circulation are the skin color, the level of consciousness, and then the capillary refill. 
and then we the the BP and the pulse, the skin, the level of consciousness, and the cap refill. In what way do they help us? Skin is the biggest organ in the body, so if the skin is perfused appropriately, that means there is enough circulation. So cyanosis, paler, etc. Level of consciousness. Um, if the brain, which is very important, if the brain is perfused well, that means the patient level of consciousness would be right, uh, would be okay. And then finally, the capillary refill. And the magic number in cap refill is what? Two seconds. Umtaz. Okay. So what is different about resuscitating a COVID-19 patient? What is different about resuscitating a COVID-19 patient? Did the corona get number one is the airborne precaution, صح? Number two is to minimize the number of people inside the room. طيب. Now we can see, if you remember, do you put your tracking? We don't do the look, listen, feel in COVID-19, طبعاً. طيب. طيب. Um, for those of you who took the ACLS, usually in ACLS, we have how many people, uh, we need how many people in the room uh, to do our full code. اللي قاعدين يكتبون ستة هذول كلهم حضروا الكورس اللي راح. طيب, let's say, one for what, the first one for what, team leader. And then one for airway. We need two for compression. Hadi arba hakida. One for medication and uh, and shisamonha um, uh, defibrillation. And then one for recording. So we need six people. Recording and timekeeping. So we need six people. Remember that we need to make the number of people inside the room as less as possible. So reduce the number reduce the number as much as possible. So this scheme uh, or this uh, sketch is not necessarily correct, but at least uh, at least you understand what we're doing. So imagine that this is the patient room and this is the ante room or the room outside uh, the uh, um, outside the patient room. So we have one patient one pa one person for intubation or for airway, two people for mechanical for chest compression, صح? One nurse or one person for medication, one person for recording and one person as a team leader. If we have another RT or another person to help is outside, another physician outside, the pharmacy services outside, so we have six people here. So let's think together on how can we reduce this number more. Medical student outside, <laughs> what is this? Does anyone know what is this? So this is this is a baby monitor or a walkie-talkie. If we put the baby monitor inside here on this wall, and this imagine that this door is closed. If we put the baby monitor here and the nurse is here, this recording nurse can be outside. She can talk to the team leader and she doesn't need to be inside. So the recorder is outside, so that means one one person is out. Who knows what a mechanical compression device is? Can you see the video? No? Okay, no. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now you can see the video? Okay. So 
um, I do not make any money from uh, Lucas. I don't mind loan them at any flows, but I don't make any money from them. So a mechanical compression device fee two, uh, two, fee two companies available commercially. One of them is the Lucas machine. The other one is called the Autopulse. Um, so the idea behind it is that it is a machine that's going to do uh, a chest compression with uh, with a calculated rate, depth, uh, and appropriate recoil. Um, is it better than uh, the compression of people, like human compression? No. Is it worse? No. It is as good as, it is as good as uh, uh, people's uh, or human compression. So there were a couple of big studies that were done in Europe, um, and they found out that there is no difference in outcome. It's not better or worse. Um, so if it's not better or worse, why should I invest? This is almost seventy thousand real. Why should I invest seventy thousand real in this machine? So it does save energy. Definitely, it does save energy. And, it, and this is the magic EWA. This is the magic um, point that I want, to, I want you to say, is it minimizes the people inside the room. It minimizes the contact with the patient. It minimizes the contact with the patient. So I'm reducing the risk of infection for my people. It needs two people to put it quickly uh, and then leave. So if we say CAB, then maybe... I will turn it off now. Uh, if you Google Lucas, you can find it. Lucas 3, uh, you can find it. Okay, going back. If we go back, if we go back to this diagram, and we said that this patient, uh, this nurse, or this recorder is already outside, if we apply the wave monitor, then these people are not needed anymore. We can put them outside because we don't need somebody to do the chest compression. Immediately when the paper patient is rushed in or if once we respond to the patient, the, any two of these three people, you need two of them to go apply the Lucas and then they go back to be uh, airway, uh, medication, and, uh, and team leader. So now we've reduced people from six to three. Now you're asking me, um, is it available in Saudi? It is. It's available in some hospitals in Ministry of Health. It's available in, in our hospital in King Saud University Medical City. Uh, we've been using it in the emergency department for a while now. We've been using it for a few months in the emergency department um, uh, for out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. Um, is it and it is approved by the Saudi FDA. So now we've understood how can we reduce the number from six all the way to three. Just go back and, and, and think of the uh, think of the uh, the things. Let's sum resummarize or summarize. A, don't forget about your PPE. B, um, and I forgot to mention this. The best place to do. Uh, no, the leader should not be outside. Yeah, Ali. It's a very nice idea, uh, but it's very dangerous for the leader to be outside. Um, I forgot to mention that the best place to do this, it sh ideally, it should be done in a negative pressure room. طيب. And not a normal patient room, which is very difficult. If we're doing, if, if you have a patient in the ward, and then he or she rests in their normal single bed, Let's say this patient is COVID-19 positive and they are admitted in the room. They're not going to be admitted in a negative pressure room. They're, except if they, have, if they require high flow oxygen. They're going to be admitted in a normal uh, room, a single room. So those patients, uh, if they arrest, um, you're in trouble because you um, you're not going to be able to do um, CPR for them. Some hospitals in, in, in North America are suggesting that you do not do CPR. You take the patient and you wheel them to the negative pressure room and then you start CPR. So that is very, very time consuming. Um, uh, others say, 
that you just put a HEPA filter. A HEPA filter is like an air filter. Um, uh, if you have a, you have, you guys heard, or, or I'm sure you've seen the air purifiers uh, that they're sold in in uh, in the shops. Um, so HEPA filter is similar to the purifier. Um, guys, please do not share uh, do not share links. In Tabuho. I know you Marwa, you mean well, but be careful. Don't share, don't share links here. We don't want anyone to be hacked. Okay, so um, putting a HEPA filter next to the patient's head, somewhere next to the patient's head, theoretically reduces the risk of uh, infection to the team. But in the emergency department, if you have, like where, we, where I work, we, have, we don't have a lot of negative pressure rooms. We have two negative pressure rooms in all of the emergency department. So what we did is we converted one of the negative pressure room into a CPR uh, or cardiac arrest room, so or resuscitation room. So any patient that comes from outside the hospital with cardiac arrest goes to that room. Other than that, we don't use that room for anything else uh, except for procedures. Uh, like intubation, then take the patient out. CPR, then take the patient out. Does this make sense to everyone? Please leave questions to the end, but does this make sense? Like, let's move on. Gulnal baby monitor. We spoke about the Lucas. Now, before intubation, or if I don't know how to intubate, or I don't have someone to intubate for me, and I'm going to do BVM, bag valve mask ventilation, remember that you need to do a two-person's technique. What do I mean by that? One person's job is to seal the mask on the patient, and then the other, pers and the other person would ventilate. What does, why do we do that? to reduce the air leak around the mask and reduce the aerosolization uh, of the virus. Some people went to the extent of saying, do not do BVM, do not bag the mask. Do not bag the mask, uh, the patient. Do not bag the patient. Just put him, uh, put, uh, just do CPR, hands-only CPR. Do not bag the patient until you can intubate. So imagine doing that, that's very painful. Um, but again, if we do this, we brought the number again to four. Is LMA as good as ET tube? Mohammed Bahadig, thank you so much. LMA is great. It is recommended by AHA uh, now in the COVID. Uh, I, I, I will mention what LMA is for uh, students who don't know what it is. Uh, it's a laryngeal mask airway, which is, um, it's called the supraglottic device, which is a tube that, goes in and sits above the larynx, not inside the vocal cords like the AT tube. So it does, it, it, it does offer some seal, but it's not as good as an ET tube. Uh, it's a good, uh, it's a, it is a good um, alternative uh, and recommended by the American Heart Association as an alternative. Um, in cardiac arrest of a COVID-19 patient. But please be careful uh, because my observation, my experience with LMA in cardiac arrest is that it gets loose and then uh, 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 people tend to, uh, to forget that they, they lost the airway of the patient. We mentioned the early intubation. Um, this is a bacteria, a bacterial viral filter. So this thing should be, uh, yes, BVM is recommended, Yasara. BVM is recommended if you have full PPE and you are in a negative pressure room. If you are not in a negative pressure room, do not bag the patient because you're going to aerosolize this everywhere. Like bacterial viral filter. So this is similar to, um, I just want you to imagine that you're going to put an N95 on the patient's tube after you put the tube. So you insert the tube and then you see this part goes in the ET tube and this part goes on the BVM, the, the bag, uh, the AMBU bag, or it goes on the ventilator. So whatever air the patient is expiring, Whatever, uh, is, uh, whatever air the patient is exhaling, 
is going to be filtrated and before it goes to the room. This is also theoretically, theoretically practical, uh, 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 theoretically useful to put, even when you're putting a bag valve mask, even when you're putting a mask on, and if you uh, uh, apply very tight seal, and you know that the, 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 there is no leak, then maybe this also can protect you. But either way, you have to put the bacteria filter on. Does this make sense? Right. Finally, keep your cool and don't panic. Uh, don't get distracted from what's important, which is your safety. And don't forget that you set the tone. 